The China-Africa Investment Forum has come to close with calls for a more strategic partnership between China and economies on the continent. Now, while appreciating the funding support provided by China, African firms are also calling for it to be diversified. The continent wants China to explore alternative forms of funding to mitigate the risk of relying entirely on one financier. Susan Mongeli filed this report. Day two of the forum has seen deliberation switch to funding of projects where uh, participants here debated on the best and most effective uh, financial tools that will serve both China and Africa. African companies are proposing other options like grants, um, equity funds, and also private-public partnership as a more sustainable uh, way of funding uh, projects. Also, African companies have urged Chinese firms to invest more in private firms. Now, other areas of deliberations included infrastructure, where they were looking at how China can play a bigger role in reducing the infrastructure gap in Africa. Yeah, there are several ways. China can assist development of uh, infrastructure in Africa in many different uh, angles in terms of um, technology development, education development, etc. Uh, part of it is uh, private uh, public partnership. Uh, Chinese firms, many of which are backed by uh, government, can form partnership with either private companies that are developing projects in Africa or governments or African governments that are developing projects in a, in a number of sectors. But I think the high growth areas are technology, technology is very hot in the market. Debates also focused on uh, shared growth where uh, there were discussions on how reinforcing ties between China, Africa and Europe can help Chinese Africa ties. Also renewable energy was a key issue on the agenda. I think uh, by far, the capacity of renewable energy in Africa is not very, I mean, is not very big. But in the future, I think it's a very developing area in the world. And uh, as a renewable energy company, and we are the world's largest uh, mono-silicon company. And uh, I think we will, uh, we will invest many renewable projects in the Africa. And uh, our company also think that uh, Africa maybe becomes the world's largest renewable energy area in the world. Heads of Africa private and public companies also got an opportunity to pitch their projects to over 150 Chinese investors present, all in a bid to ensure that they can form a more solid partnership. Susan Mongeli, CGTN, in Marrakesh, Morocco.